Well, out the door right now, we are very warm. It's muggy. We have a heat advisory that is currently in place and that'll go through tomorrow morning and then it's going to be replaced with an excessive heat warning. That's the area here in pink and an excessive heat watch the rest of the area that's here in red. That's for Wednesday and Thursday as we will be getting into the peak heating of this stretch that we are currently in and you can see all of those heat alerts across the country from heat advisories, excessive heat warnings and watch that stretch from Texas all the way up into Minnesota. Out the door at this time in Indianapolis, we are at 78 degrees, so near 80 at this hour is very warm. It's stuffy outside. Dew point temperatures are high, but they have come down ever so slightly in several locations, especially off in our east and our northeastern counties where they're down into the mid and upper 60s. That is still high, but when you put it next to temperatures, dew points that are in the low to mid 70s, now that is a little bit of a relief out there. Our satellite and radar at this time, we have some broken cloud cover across this state. We have a little boundary that's just hovering over the southern third of this state, and it's going to linger there, bring us some extra cloud cover, at least for a good part of the day, and that's going to keep us just a touch less humid than where we were yesterday, too. But don't get me wrong, it's still going to be a very hot and humid day. We'll get more sunshine this afternoon. Temperatures by the lunch hour, lower 80s, looking at a high 92. After we got that 93 yesterday, this will be our third 90 degree day in a row. Heat index temperatures on into the late afternoon. Now this guidance wants to keep it in the mid 90s, but I certainly think that many of us will see those feels like temperatures back into the upper 90s, right around 100 degrees again. And then we talk about the actual air temperature and the impacts it can have inside your car. This is that time of year when we have heat like this, that we want to put these reminders out how quickly it can heat up inside your car on a day like Today, after 30 minutes with that car off, the air off, and those windows up, the temperature inside your car can reach about 124 degrees. That can be fatal, so look before you lock that UV index at a 9 today. Sunburn can occur within 15 minutes without any protection on your skin, so don't forget that sunblock, the sunglasses today. Temperatures by 10 o'clock down into the lower 80s, and then that heat continues on as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. And as Amber mentioned, Thursday looking to be the hottest day of this stretch, the hottest air of the year before we start to see a cool down as we get into the end of the week, primarily into the weekend as that jet stream puts us back and that northwesterly flow. So up to 92 today, 94 would be just a couple degrees shy of the record for Wednesday, which is 96. And the record on Thursday is 98 and we're forecasting 98. We're going to have a front pass through early on Friday, another one late Friday night that'll really usher in those temperatures that are still going to be warm, but cooler back to more seasonal level levels as we get into Saturday. I have 86 on Saturday and we're looking at low, low to mid 80s as we get into early next week.